This session is on percentages. It's in a part five. Please look at part one for know the basics. We're solving the problems on percentage, consumption, and expenditure. Please like, share, and subscribe this particular channel. Come to type seven problems. Okay. First, we understand the concept price, consumption, and expenditure. Okay. It is very important. The second, okay. What is the price? What is consumption? What is expenditure? Okay. If you consider that a woman went to a shop and she brought in a five kgs of sugar, then five kgs of sugar is called as a consumption. Okay. And the price of each one kg is nothing but hundred rupees. Okay. Then what is expenditure? Is nothing but five into hundred becomes five hundred rupees. Right. This is a price. This is a consumption. This is an expenditure. Okay. This concept you have to remember it. Okay. Now, when the price has been increased, okay, then consumption should be decreased so that expenditure would be same, right? Now, the formula is nothing but if the price is increased by say R percentage, okay, then how much consumption should be decreased? For that one, use in a formula is nothing but R by hundred plus R into hundred percentage, so that expenditure would be same, okay. If the price has been decreased by R percentage, then consumption can be increased by how much percentage is nothing but R by 100 minus R into 100 percent to maintain expenditure same. Okay, these two formulas are used when only expenditure is constant. Okay, this is a basic concept you have to remember. I'm solving few problems on it. Okay, come to the first one. Okay, we'll be solving this particular problem in the next slide. Okay. Come to the first question. Okay, the price of rice is increased by 15 percent. The percentage of reduction that a family should effort in that use of a rice so as not to increase the expenditures. Okay, first we understand the question. All right, it is just like substituting the formula. Right, we know that price into consumption is equal to nothing but expenditure. Right, now they are saying the price of rice is increased by 15 percent. So, price is increased by 15 percentage. Now they are saying the percent of reduction that a family should afford in the use of rice means consumption should be decreased so as to not to increase the expenditure. So ex expenditure should be same, right? As price is increasing, consumption should be decreasing, right? The formula that should be used to find out the percentage of consumption decrease is nothing but R by 100 plus R into 100 percentage right so r is nothing but it is increased by 15 percentage so it is nothing 15 we get as 15 by 100 plus 15 becomes 115 into 100 right it goes by now three is a it goes by 23 which is equal to nothing but 300 by 23 so just substitute the value 300 within a 23 you get us one's a 23 it becomes 70 three's are it becomes 69 one right the point is not valid here right but the answer is in different format right so it is nothing but equal to approximately equal to 13 percentage so answer is option a there is one more method of solving this particular problem right i'm showing one more method okay we know that price into consumption is equal to nothing but expenditure. If you consider the price as 100 rupees, consumption is also 100. Then expenditure is nothing but 10,000, right? Price into consumption. Right now the price is increased by 15%. Then becomes 115 into consumption is nothing but C only. We don't know what the value is. But the expenditure should be C. Then becomes 10,000 right now consumption would be equal to 10,000 by 115 it goes by 23 it goes by 2000 which is equal to nothing but 2000 by 23 so consumption is nothing but 2000 by 23 how much amount has been decreased you have to find it out which is equal to nothing but 100 minus 
2000 by 23, which is equal nothing but 300 by 23. You know the value, which is equal nothing again 13 percentage. This is one more method of solving it. Okay, but the calculation should be more than this one. Okay, so answer is option A only. Come to next question. Just for clarity, I'll be substituting one more question. Okay, the question is if the price of the commodity is increased by 30 percent, so how much percentage consumer must reduce the consumption so as to keep the expenditure same? Okay, the same question, right? Here the price has been increased, right? And consumption should be decreased so that the expenditure would be same, right? You know this one. The price is increased by 30 percentage. Right, and the consumption should be decreased by how much we have to find it out. Right, we need the formula R by 100 plus R into 100 percentage, which is equal nothing but 30 by 100 plus 30 it becomes 130 into 100. Then zero zero get cancelled, which is equal nothing but 300 by 13. Answer is option C, right? So solving one more problem on it. Now come to the next question. The price of rice is increased by 20 percent, and the person decreases consumption by 15 percent. So his expenditure rises. Okay, as same as any price into consumption is equal to expenditure, right? So same formula we can use it, right? They're saying that price of the rice is increased by 20 percent, right? First we know that price into Consumption is equal to nothing but expenditure. If consider price as any hundred and consumption is also hundred, then expenditure is nothing but ten thousand. Right now they are saying that price is increased by twenty percent, then becomes nothing but one twenty into again they are saying that the person decreases consumption by fifteen percent. So hundred minus fifteen it becomes nothing but eighty. Five is equal nothing but so his expenditure on the rises increase or decrease by how much they ask right so what is the change one twenty into eighty five just multiply it okay one twenty then eighty five it goes to zero zero six and again goes for it zero six nine which is equal to zero zero two one zero which is equal nothing but One zero, two zero zero. Right. So whether it is increasing or decreasing, it is increasing. Right. Increasing by ten thousand minus ten thousand two hundred is nothing but two hundred. It has been increased. So answer can be either A or B. Right. How much it has been increased? Initially it was ten thousand. Increased by two hundred. So how much percentage it has? It's nothing but two hundred by ten thousand. Into hundred, right? Zero 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 get cancel, or zero get cancel, which is equal to nothing but two percentage. So percentage of increase is nothing but two percent. So answer is option A. Come to next question. The price of the rice decreased by ten percent. A girl could buy one kg more for rupees two seventy. The original price of the rice per kg is okay. First, I understand the question. They're saying that. When the price of the rice decreases by 10 percent, okay. First, we'll be considering that let the price of the rice be x. It is nothing but equal to 100 percent, right? Now this is decreased by 10 percent, right? Then the new price will be equal to nothing but 100 minus 10. It is nothing but 90 percentage of x, right? Again, they are saying the girl could buy one kg more. For rupees two seventy means he is buying ninety percent of x with two seventy only, right? But one kg extra he can buy after two seventy paying two seventy he can buy one kg more. Okay. Again they are saying then the original price of the rice per kg is okay. Then one kg rice is how much they are asking, right? Now we know that ninety percent of x is two seventy. Then x is equal nothing but we have to sign substitute it and get as nineteen by 100 into x is equal to 270, right? Then x is equal to nothing but 00 get cancelled, goes by 
threes are is equal to three hundred. So x is nothing but three hundred, right? But decreasing by ten percent, it becomes two seventy, right? But one kg extra can be bought by him, right? By after paying two seventy, then one kg price is nothing but equal to three hundred minus two seventy, which is equal to nothing but thirty. Rupees, right? So answer is option B. So one kg rice is thirty rupees. Come to next question. Come to the next question. Reduction ten percent price of any T enables a declarer to purchase twenty five kg more T for rupees two to five zero zero. What is the reduced price per kg of any T? First, understand the question. It is saying that a reduction of ten percent in price of any T. Okay. First, we will consider that let the price be x, which is nothing but equal to Hundred percent, right? Now they are saying that it has been reduced to ten percent. Then the new price is nothing but equal to hundred minus ten, ninety percent. What's my name? X. Right? Again they are saying enables a declarer to purchase twenty-five kgs more T for rupees two to five zero zero. Right? So ninety percent of X is nothing but two to five zero zero. Right, but he can buy twenty-five kgs more. Right now they are asking what is the reduced price per kg of an T. Okay, so when the price has been reduced by ten percent, okay, then one kg is a, is equal to how much they are asking. Right, but we know that ninety percent of x is not by this one. Then we can substitute the value and find the value of x is nothing but ninety by hundred. Into x is equal to two to five zero zero. Then x is equal to nothing but two to five zero zero into hundred by ninety. Zero zero get cancel. One zero it goes by two five zero zero. Therefore, actual price is price is nothing but two five zero 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 twenty five thousand. So x value is nothing but two five zero zero zero, right? So what is the difference between these two? Is nothing but twenty five kgs more we can buy it, right? So first we're defining the difference between these two, then get twenty five thousand minus twenty thousand five hundred. We get as zero zero five two two thousand five hundred. In two thousand five hundred we can buy. Twenty-five kgs, right? Then one kg is equal nothing but twenty-five. It goes for a hundred. So one kg is hundred. But they are asking ten percent decrease in kg. That's how much, right? Actual price is hundred. Ten percent decrease is nothing but then one kg is equal nothing but ninety rupees, right? So the reduced price, okay, per kg of it is nothing but option C. Come to the next question. Weight of two friends A and B are in the ratio one is two. Eight weight increases by twenty percent. Total weight of A and B together become sixty kgs with increase of thirty percent. Now, what percent the weight of B increases? Okay, first understand the question. They're saying that weight of two friends A and B are in the ratio of one is to two. So consider that A is to B is equal to one is to two. This has been given, right? Again, they are saying A weight increases by twenty percent. So A weight has been increased by 20 percentage. Again, they are saying total weight of A and B together becomes 60 kgs with increase of 30 percent. And by what percentage B increases, right? Now what they are saying nothing but if you consider actual values, okay, A plus B. The total weight is given as W. Again, they are saying when A weight has been increased by some value, plus B value is also increased by some value. Then total weight is given as 60, which is equal nothing but 30 percentage increase of total weight initial value, right? Now we have to find out what percentage of B is been increased. We have to find it out, right? For this one, what we do is nothing but let A be x. Then B is equal nothing but 2x, right? As the ratio is 1 is to 2, then we get W. Is nothing but equal to x plus 2x, 3x, right? 
but we know that 60 is equal to 30 percent increase in w right so it becomes nothing but 30 percent increase of w is nothing but 60 we know it 30 percent increase when it becomes 130 by 100 into w is nothing but 3x is equal to 60 so we can find the value of x right 0 0 get cancelled one side goes for two sir. Then x is equal to nothing but 200 by 13. So we got the a value which is equal to nothing but 200 by 13. Then b value is nothing but 400 by 13. Right. But we know that when a increases and b increases it becomes 60. Right. First we consider that b is been increasing by some p percentage okay then it becomes nothing but 100 plus p by 100 into b right so we are given that a and b increases it is equal to 60 right when a increases plus b increases which is equal to 60 right by substituting this we can value of and i find the value of p also the same thing has been asked in the question what percentage the weight of an a b has been increased so we have to find the value of p first right here a has been increased by how much 20 percent so it becomes 120 by 100 into a value is nothing but 200 by 13 plus b has been increased by some p percent then becomes 100 plus p by 100 into b value is nothing but 400 by 13 is equal to 60 just substitute it and find the value of p right all the zeros will be getting cancelled zero, 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 zero. and it becomes nothing but 240 plus lcm is nothing but 13 right 13 can you bring here then it becomes 100 plus p into 4 is nothing but 60 into 13 right it becomes 16 to 13 which is equal to nothing but 16 13 is nothing but 780 minus 240 right minus 240 0 4 and 5 right so we got 100 plus p into 4 is equal to 540 right so we get 100 plus p is equal to nothing but 540 by 4 1's are it goes by 135 which is equal to 135 then p is equal to nothing but 100 minus 135 is nothing but 35 so b is been increased by how many percentage 35 percentage so answer is option b Next question. The number of seats in a cinema hall has decreased by 8% and also the price of a ticket has increased by 4%. What is the effect on a revenue collection? Okay. This question is same as nothing but you know that price into consumption is it nothing but expenditure. Right? Here it is given that the number of seats in a cinema hall has decreased by 8%. Then consumption has been decreased by 8%. Okay. First we consider that let the price be 100 into Consumption becomes 100 only. Then expenditure is nothing but 100 into 100. It becomes 10,000. Right. Now the C is been decreased by 8%. Then 100 minus 8 becomes 92. Right. Again they are saying also the price of the ticket is increased by 4. So price is increased by 4. Then it becomes 104. Now they are saying what is the effect on revenue collection? So they are asking about the expenditure, right? First we are finding out what is the value on increasing and decreasing, okay? And it becomes 104 into 92. It becomes 8, 0 and 2. And it becomes nothing but 6, 3 and 9. We get as 8, 6, 5, 9. Right? Which is equal to nothing but 9, 5, 6, 8. So whether it is increasing or decreasing, it is decreasing, right? So answer can be B or D. How much it has been decreased? It's nothing but 
we subtract these particular two values 10,000 minus 9568. Then we get this nothing but it goes by 2, 3, and 4. Right? So it has been decreased by 432. We have to find in the terms of a percentage. So it becomes nothing but 432 by 10,000 into 100. Right, zero 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 get cancelled, which is equal to four point three two percentage. It has been decreased. So answer is option B.